Hello coders, Synthetic Programming here with another video for you guys today and today we are going to be making a word counter in Python. So a word counter, like it says in the name, is just a program that counts words. Uh, here I have a book and the book that I have is Treasure Island I believe. Uh, so it's just a text file. Um, the text file, here you can see it, uh, it's the whole book and it's about, let's see, 7,300 lines roughly. Uh, so we're going to make a program that counts the words in this book um, and we're gonna have to deal with some obstacles like for example what about empty lines uh, what about capital letters like so what about punctuation like periods um, like dashes like this so what are we gonna do so we'll, we'll handle all of that in our program so the first thing we are going to do is we're going to make a new Python file and we're going to call it main as we usually do and for this program we are going to need one import we are going to import operator uh, that's going to allow us to do a fancy little trick later that you will see so uh, first thing to do is to define our function so we're going to def word counter like so and uh, we are going to here, we'll do our little our little comment here where we say um, let's do okay so we have our word counter it's gonna say counts the words in a text file and outputs another file okay cool so now what we're going to do is start our algorithm so let's make it look nice like I usually do print a bunch of equal signs because I do think equal signs make every program look just a little better and uh, now we're going to get our inputs so the first thing to ask our users for is the file name of the book and so we're gonna say file name equals an input and that input is going to be uh, enter the name of the text file to count right so enter the name of the text file to count then we need our output file so output is going to be equal to input uh, and here we're gonna say enter the name of the output text file like that perfect so now we have our two inputs that we need. Uh, then after we get these inputs, the program's gonna start working. So we can actually write print working with some dots. Uh, so people understand that the program is working. So now that we've done that, let's start initi initializing some variables. We're gonna do counts. Uh, counts is gonna be equal to a dictionary like that. And uh, bad characters uh, let me see if I there we go bad characters like that and that's gonna be equal to a string now in bad characters we are going to put all of the characters that we think are bad so that includes any punctuation so go around your keyboard and just add in all of the punctuation that you can find um, I'm doing the best I can uh, like this so let's see uh, I think is this gonna be all um, okay for backslash you actually need to do two backslashes like this that's because this is an escape character and so if you do two backslashes it means it's the escape it's the backslash character um, I'm just looking around did I get all of them I think I did the last thing you need to do is make sure you add a backslash n on the end of this line and let me just move this somewhere else in our in our list oh sorry about that there we go so just so you can tell that this is a character and this is also a character they're just special characters this is a backslash this is a new line so that's gonna be our bad characters list uh, it is a list of all of the characters we do not want to count so now we can actually start with our file so we say with open 
And in here we're going to put file name, the one that we inputted, file name in read mode, so that's going to be R, um, as F. Down here we can say lines, so the lines of the file are going to be equal to F dot read lines, just like that. And uh, after that, we're going to do f.close, because we don't need the file to be open anymore. We already have our variable lines. Now we can process it. So for line, for every line in lines, right? Uh, now we say that there's a new, a new line, new line like this. And that is going to be a string. So this is going to go through every line that we've read out of the file. So every line in the file, we're going to make a new line called string. Well, sorry, a new line that is a string. And then we're going to add characters to that to create our new processed line. So for character in line, uh, yeah, so for character in line, we are going to say if character is in, uh, sorry, sorry, if character not in bad characters, so if it's not one of these bad characters up here, uh, we're going to do new line plus equals the character, like that. Um, and not only is it equal to the character, but it's equal to character dot lower because we want lower case. Yeah. So then we say else, right? Um, continue. Right, just like that. So now that we've done that, uh, we can say that words is going to be equal to that new line that we just created in this loop here. We created that new line, and now we're going to do new line dot split, and we're going to split on spaces because remember we didn't strip out spaces; they're still in there, and that'll give us the words. Now, because we have the words, we can do this. We can say if, oh sorry, for word in words, that new list we just made of all the words, if counts, oh sorry, if word is in counts, then counts word, so with the key word, uh, is going to plus equal one, one count. Otherwise, we're going to say that counts of word, oh. so the counts of word is equal to one. So if it's not in the dictionary, put it in the dictionary and set it equal to one. If it is in the dictionary, uh, add one to the count. So that'll, that'll handle our counts for us. So now that we've done that, we have to do a little bit of processing to the dictionary because by the end of this, we've created our dictionary full of words and counts, but there's one problem. We have some characters like uppercase I that got lowercase right up here. We made, we made those lowercase. So let's just do some fixes. The first thing we want to delete out of our uh, counts, we're going to delete counts uh, with just an empty string with nothing, not even a space in there. We just want to delete that because that actually gets counted uh, inside and we don't want that to be counted, right? That's like for an empty line, for example, that would be counted. So we are going to get rid of that. We don't want that in there. Um, next, we are going to handle all of the I words, the ones that should be in uppercase I but became lowercase. So all we have to do for that is write counts. Uh, with something in here is going to be equal to, and I'll tell you we're going to put something in here now, but for now we're not. So that's going to be equal to counts of another something like that. Okay, um, we're going to be making a new entry in counts and setting it equal to an old entry in counts. And we are going to need about, let me count, one, two, three, four, five of those, I believe. So let's do it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Okay. And then also, not only that, but let's copy this down here. We're going to need, we're going to change this to double quotes like that. And we're going to do 
one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Okay, so the first thing to do is create one for uppercase I, then we want to create one for uppercase I am, so I'm, uh, how about I, I'll, that's a good one. How about uh, I've? And the last one is we're going to do I'd, so I would, so like that. So we got these interesting low ones here. Now we do the exact same thing over here, except we say just lowercase I, lowercase I'm. Uh, it's the same thing as what's on the right, but we're just using lowercase, or sorry, the same thing that's on the left, but we're using lowercase letters for it. So this would be I've. And then this one over here would be I'd. So just like that. So that'll handle that. And then once we are uh, out of that kind of like out of the woods on that one, we can actually delete the old messed up lowercase ones. So I, I'm, what are they? I'd, or sorry, the next one we did was I'll. I'd was like the last one. So we'll just put that in. And then uh, I've, just like that. Okay, cool. So now we've gone through and we've processed our dictionary that we just made and we've just deleted and, and rearranged and added some new stuff. Uh, now that we've done that, we can do the next step, which is sorting because we don't want to just print a random file of counts. We want to sort them. So we're going to say sort is equal to sorted, which is a function. Um, and in here, we're going to put counts, counts dot items like that right comma um, this is where it gets interesting key equals uh, operator here we can put the equals like this operator dot um, item getter like that and in item getter we're gonna put the number one just like that and uh, and that's it for that for this little for this little sort so now the list is sorted from least to greatest. We want it to be from greatest to least. So we do sort dot reverse, just like that. Perfect. And, uh, and now we can actually write our other file. So we're going to say with um, open. And remember, we inputted an output file name. So we're going to do output like this. Output is what we did up here. We inputted that. It's the file name of the output file. So output in write mode, so W, as O for output. And uh, we will say that for item in sort, right? So for everything in sort, and right now in sort, there's a bunch of tuples, and the tuples look like this. It's a tuple with like the word and then the number of that word, right? So now we can actually write those to the file. So we're going to say that for item in sort o dot write, and in here we write the string that we're going to write. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write the item. So we'll do item zero. That's the word. Item zero is the word. Plus, uh, we're going to do a space, and then plus the string, because remember it's a number, the string of item one, because we can't we can't write a, uh, like an int, we have to write a string, so we change it to a string. And then uh, plus a new line, like that. That'll make a new line in the file. So now we've done that, we can actually o.close, right? And so that'll conclude how we write the file. Now we let them know it's done. So we print uh, done writing the file. Um, and then here we can actually add the name of the file. Output, like this. So done writing the file output. And then just like we did up here, Let's actually add a couple more, uh, couple more equal signs because you know me, I like those equal signs. Down here, we add those equal signs back, <coughs> and now we can actually call our function, which is word counter, just like that. So now remember, we also have this book 
This book has tons and tons of words. You want to count the words in that book. So we go back to main. We're going to, here, let's close that book. We'll run the file. And now we say, okay, enter the name of the text file to count. So we're going to say book.txt. Make sure you add the .txt extension because it's a text file. Uh, so that's going to do book.txt. It says enter the name of the output text file. So I'm going to say, let's call it uh, output example txt. I'll hit that. And it says working, done writing the file output uh, example.txt. Now we click on output example.txt and look at that. It is the words in order of least to greatest how many times they occur. Um, there's, you know, I've, like we said, 39 times. Um, we come up here with 612 times. The happened 4,336 times. So there you have it, a count of how many times the uh, each word happened. And you get down to the bottom and you see things like picking the number eight. Owls happened once. Um, and so there's tons and tons and tons of stuff in here. Uh, but you can see it worked perfectly. So uh, I guess that'll uh, conclude this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Ethan with Synthetic Programming. Please check out our website, Facebook page. Uh, we have Patreon up. Thank you to our two patrons on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. All this code is going to be on GitHub. Link in the description. Um, I'm going to include this book uh, in that file. Uh, I'm in that directory. So on GitHub, you can get this book file. And then also I'm going to include the output example uh, so you guys can see that and all the code, of course. So if you need the code, link is in the description. Ask any questions you want in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Like I said, I'm Ethan with Synthetic Programming, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.